Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video is about overclocking and tuning your 6000 series GPUs, Navi 20. And of course, we have Mr. Crypto Peasant here with us today. He's going to talk to you guys about how to basically fine tune those GPUs. So, Crypto Peasant, what's up, man? How are you? Well, hello, guys. Once again, I'm here to talk about Navi 20s. In particular, like these three that I have here. 6600 XT, 6800 XT, and 6700 XT. We'll include also the settings for 6600 normal one without XT. Uh, also the settings for 6800, 6900 XT, and 6800 normal one are going to be pretty much the same. So, you know, we'll give them like approximately the same settings for those. So the first thing pretty much is pretty much on Navi 20. Now with 10 and Radeon 7s that we did is basically to have the proper driver installed, which is 2140 on kernel uh, 513. You're going to do that by doing it on hi using hybrid place tool or refreshing your system uh, fully just by, you know, removing your USB or SSD and then just flashing the hive one. Latest much. version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So basically, here you can see the clocks that are that these cards are running right now. These cards are like this is my own personal rig, pretty much, and these cards are kind of fine-tuned already and running, and getting as much as they can from and like stable they can be. Actually, I didn't have any crashes on these cards like for a long time. We ju I just started the rig to, to like you know to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> basically four hours ago so what i was going to say is the first thing that we're going to do is to update the driver as i said and then the next thing we're going to do is to enable our mode and enabling our mode is going to be the same as on radeon 7s and on navi 210s because you can see guys here also there is a, this this rig is actually a mix of navi 10s and navi 20s so the flight sheet is going to be the same so Argument that we're going to apply is basically kernel VM mode RR, which is going to force all of the cars to R mode. And that is basically it. Once we apply it, uh, the rig is going to re reboot itself and the R mode is going to be running. And what we're going to do is is uh, go to the minor log and, and just make sure that we're running in R mode. So basically, you're going to wait for a log to, uh, to start. And as you can guys see, R mode is enabled. You can see here, uh, add config R mode, 636. It depends on the card, of course, and it varies from card to card. Uh, so now when we like, kind of know that we are in R mode, you're gonna guy like the we're gonna provide you guys approximately the the settings that you should start on, and I'm gonna touch on them right now here. What I like to start with is basically. On 6600 XTs, I start with uh, something like uh, this. Uh, but be wary, guys, that some of cards and maybe your card won't run on these settings, maybe. So let's say you might need more, a, a bit more core voltage or a bit more memory controller voltage or memory voltage, or you're going to need a lower clock. So basically, what I suggest you guys is to start, for example, on 950 core, around 650 uh, core voltage, 800 memory controller voltage, and then around 1,100 or 1,100 on memory, and 1,300 uh, memory voltage. Once you set that, apply it and see how your card behaves. So there is one little trick that I want to show you guys uh, for, uh, for especially on 6600 XTs here. So if you guys, for example, try to set your memory clocks a bit too high uh, than the card can actually run on, you will see actually in just a moment how the card is going to behave. And that is basically uh, is going to give you where is the limit of your card memory. Mm -hmm. So if we did everything right right now, we, sh we should see the decrease uh, of the hash rate on this 6600 just in a moment. There are different memory types for the 6600 XTs, like exactly. Micron, right? Yes. Yeah. Micron, Hynix, Hynix are kind of rare. Hynix is more on 
uh, normal 6600. 6, but yes, your starting point will differ from um, uh, from one memory f manufacturer to another. So on Samsung, I suggest you still start with 1100, but on Micron, you should start on 1050, around 1050. Yeah. And then go work your way up until you see the actually the hash rate decreasing. Mm -hmm. So let's refresh again. And as you can see, guys, there is that dip I was talking about. Uh, it dipped all the way to 23 mega hash. That means that memory is not stable on 1160. For this card, particular card, you, your card might run on 1160. But from my experience with 6600 before, they usually max out on 1150. That is usually the max they can, they can run at. Mm -hmm. So right now, we're going to refresh again, and you can see that it, it, it's not going anywhere. So basically, what we're going to do, we're going to go again and lower that memory to 1150, wait for it a bit again, and you should see the 32 again um, after that. Mm -hmm. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to touch briefly on and touch on uh, 6800s. 6800s have like been a, like been a, out for a while now, and basically, I like to start with when the card is in R mode, it usually needs a bit more, a bit less core than before. Before, when you were running in them in A mode, you needed to run like uh, around 1350 instead of 1250 here. Uh, so basically, I start with 1250, then 60, uh, 650. Uh, so yeah, uh, core 1250, core voltage 650, memory controller voltage. I, I like to start on 800. Even this card on 770. Memory clock, I would suggest you to start on 1060. And then memory voltage 1300. You apply that and see how your car behaves. And then if you notice the same thing that, that was happening on 6700, uh, as you can see, the 6600 is back to the normal cache rate once we lower the memory. Uh, if you experience dip again, that means your memory is not running properly on, on, on that clock. And I think this card cannot run on higher, but uh, you get the point uh, regarding that, kind of. Um, last card, but not least, is basically 6700. Uh, popular card? Uh, I would say that's kind of popular card. Mm -hmm. uh, so... I'm going to touch briefly on Team Red, uh, the Red Miner ETH hash tuning uh, guide for our mode here. As you can see, guys, here they're giving us some, you know, some guide on what card is actually achieving something in our mode. So the best kind of effect that we got from all of the cards is actually the effect in, in uh, on 6700 because before 6700 needed around 3050 megahertz on core to be able to run memory clock of 1075. Now you can run 1000 now and get the same uh, same hash rate like before. So as you can see here, like to start at 1000, usually core around 675 or 60, 650 in that approximate region. Memory control of 800, memory clock. Again, I would suggest you to start at 1060 and work your way up until you start to see dip of the of the hash rate, and according to that, you lower your memory. A memory voltage uh, 1300 usually this card can run on uh, 1275, and I would say that pretty much that's it. So what what I should, should mention here also the card that we don't have here is 6600 normal normal one. The only difference in between clocks on 6600 XT and 6600 is that memory limited by a, a, a memory clock is limited by a bias on 6600 uh, normal one and it cannot go over 950 so on your 6600s uh, you just set your memory to 950 and you apply the same clocks basically as on 6600 XT and you should see around 28.5 to 29 mega hash on those cards uh nice and pretty much the effect of uh, hash rate dip that I, I showed you uh, guys on 6600 XT 
uh, kind of it's shared across all of the Navi 20s. As soon cards hit something that is not comfortable running at, it starts to dip in half rate. And that sh that is the basically a really good pointer for you where you can actually clock your card uh, and fine tune your card accordingly. Well, I would say that's pretty much it regarding the like, Navi 20s. They're pretty awesome. much straightforward. There is not too much regarding them. BIOS mode is sadly not available. Mm -hmm. uh, they changed uh, some uh, some ways how the security is done in the BIOS you know, on these cards, and, and, and it's way harder to crack it down. And yeah, maybe it's going to happen one day, maybe not. <laughs> That'd be uh, nice, we'll just like the about... Navi 10s. Yeah, Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. And nice. then uh, pretty that's pretty much it, guys. Like, you know, awesome. our mode, pretty much everything is straightforward. Uh, if you guys watch the previous videos, you should be familiar how to set up uh, mm -hmm. uh, our mode and how to update your drivers, and you should yeah. be good links, to go. Links down below to the Radeon 7 and uh, Navi 10 videos. Yes. Thanks to Crypto Peasant, of course. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you will get your cars to the highest hash rate and the lowest power you can get. <laughs> yeah awesome thanks man thank you so much no if problem if you guys have any tuning or any concerns or questions put them down in the comments below we'll be reading it all crypto peasant as well and uh, we can respond to your comments uh, if you guys have any troubles all right see you guys later peace Bye.